Hey guys, what is going on? So Rain on the T side of Overpass, he has a lot of different things, obviously he's phases entry at times, but he also likes to lock down the connector area, so we're going to focus on that initially, and then we'll move on to how he enters onto bomb site and really opens things up for his team, some great trades as well. But talking about connector, it's a very important part of the map, it, it really connects to the party area up towards A, and also connects to short, two very powerful and necessary positions for the T side to take out. But let's just stop for a second and talk about the fact that he molotoved early in this one, uh, before the smoke comes in from the CTs, and he also does like to nade onto the stairs, we'll talk about this a little bit more, this round's kind of a bit of a warm up for you guys before we get into some of the juicier examples. Examples. So we're going to see Rain again, the Molotov, and this is because the most of phase is coming here towards the party area. The Molotov only lasts obviously about half as long as the uh, smoke, if not even less than a half, and it allows him to get up these stairs earlier. Of course the CTs did smoke in this one, but notice initially straight away he's clearing out their stairs as soon as possible, just to allow his teammates to be confident, they don't have to worry about getting shot in the back, that stairs can be quite a powerful position. We just saw a little bit of a jump spot from Rain. Uh, if FaZe is just chilling, they're just relaxing a little bit, you can see the rest of FaZe is just looking at the mini map, they're just kind of sitting around a long kind of party. Rain can do a little jump spot from that area, look towards short and see what's going on. So no frags in this one, but as I said, a little bit of a warm up, and I'll give you the better examples right now. So you've seen that was the boring example where the CTs just let Guardian and Nico kind of push up into party. Rain's job is just to make sure they're not playing some kind of double connector setup. He does his numerous number of ways, grenades and Molotovs, sometimes he gets a teammate in there to trade with him. I'm not going to cover all of them because I'm sure you can work them out, they're not rocket science. But notice the fact that Rain is also very pivotal to locking down this aggression that him himself actually does on the CT side, which is what Tarek does right now getting up here at the fountain area. Fur also does it as well. They can do it quite effectively. But Rain's job is to punish this, the Molotov again fading before the smoke as FaZe commit most of their players here towards A. And notice Rain, he has a sense of urgency about him, he wants to punish them before they get away and he does exactly that on Skadoodle, giving the T-side a man advantage straight away. We see exactly the same thing in this clip now. The T side tries, the CT side, sorry, tries to get aggressive up here towards the fountain area. Rain again knows that he's probably not going to get challenged around here in the connector area. He knows if you're going to commit probably at least two, possibly three players to get this fountain push in successfully, you don't have enough men to fully lock down this connector area. Maybe one man, or we saw in that first clip where Skadoodle tried to throw a Molotov just to commit uh, commit rain to not peeking. Rain just jumps over it. You can see he knows straight away as this push comes in, there's probably not going to be many people worried about connector. So great timing by rain and a sense of urgency behind him to really punish the CTs for this aggression and not letting them fall away. Now another aggressive option the CTs have is potentially pushing short water and also having players push out connector or flashing for their teammates to pop out connector as the T side tries to take the short water control. Obviously when you come out here and you're to try and concentrate on anyone maybe pushing here, you can get shot in the back. If connected control isn't acquired by your teammates, Rain again, very pivotal in making sure his teammates are secure in taking out this short water control. You can see that's where they're going in this scenario. Again, a Molotov this time, no smoke. Often he does smoke when they go towards B, but you don't want to stay too predictable. If you did one either time, it will just tell, his, tell the other team where they're going to go to. Again, that grenade, you'll see as he Molotovs it off, he predicts that a player might sit around here and try and get some kind of kill, especially versing pistols like this. So a great nade onto electronics, something to throw in every now and then. And now notice the smoke comes out, as his team goes for the execute, you can see around the rest of the map, all of Meister right now is just throwing a smoke, you can see the utilities flying over for the FaZe Clan side, this is when Zeus tries to peek, and you can see right now is where the pincer was going to come in from Night Navi, they were going to wait, let's wait till they execute, and as they're just finishing throwing the nades, we'll all peek out together, you can see Electronic really wants to get out here, but Rain perfectly times his smoke to deny any type of pincer coming in, the CT is on a short deal with Zeus, Electronic wants to try and come through here, Rain says no and you can see really just having the back of his teammates, that's one of the great importance of this connector area and that's why Rain actually does spend most of his time on the T side, at least early round around this connector area, just to enable his teammates to move around somewhere else. Uh, I'm not sure if that Molotov missed but it worked out quite well, also as the smoke fades is great timing to catch Edward off guard, maybe trying to push away, but again, two great kills very simple ones, but you can notice how he has the back of his teammates, and all they have to worry about is a short area. I don't do the best job in this one, Zeus gets a couple of kills, but he does his job at least. Let's focus on the positives, look at what Rain's doing, that's really what we're interested in this video anyway. But now you're probably thinking, well Elmer, you turkey, what if they just smoke off the connector, then Rain can't really help out, they want to go for short control still on the T side, and notice again, Rain has a solution to this, it's not as good as the other one, obviously if the CTs use utility, like Crims uses a Molotov and a Smoke in this one, there's not really much Rain can do. You're going to see Nika's still going to force this one through, uh, two flashes coming in, obviously a flash also coming through from Guardian, forces off the player, but look at this right now, Crims is about to say hello to our friend Nico, and Rain can't really do much except just tell Nico 
this is a possibility. But what you to notice as we swatch back to Rain's perspective, he has door lined up perfectly. And as soon as Crims takes out Nico, Rain is sticking around here and he says, you might take out Nico, but I'm going to trade you off. So we still have a 4v4, still favors the T side. And this is a great way of not perfectly holding the connector like we saw before. He can't do a, a superb job onto Electronic because Crims use that utility. Sometimes you just have to respect that as a T player. But again, he has the insta frag in. There's nowhere for Crims to go after shooting rain. Crims can't do some kind of crazy KZ jump out because Nico is good enough to pick him off. But again, rain trading the kill. And that's how he reacts if uh, his team does still want early short control, but he's smoked off in the connector. Okay, so now we've got the housekeeping out of the way. The connector control is very important for the party and short control, obviously, for the rest of phase. Nico, whoever wants to take control of this area. We're going to see Rain start to utilize his entry ability, his explosive nature at times, and really lock down some of these rounds with some very simple and basic strategies from phase. Obviously, you can burst out into short if they go for some kind of control, maybe like simple and electronic Agonu. You can also explode up here if they're going to try some kind of bathroom control. And that's exactly what we're going to see in this scenario. We're going to see a great flash come over from phase, and just a very simple. Uh, take onto the B site. It's a great read that they are going for short control. Here comes the flash and Rain just really showing his skill right now. Taking out two of the best players in the game, electronic and simple. And again, just his ability to know the different areas of the map that are open, where the players could be holding the CTs. And just like that, the three best players from Na'Vi have gone down and the round is open for business. Rain has great awareness of what angles are open to him, locking down these shots. Great headshots, obviously. And you can see a great flash starting out from Nico in this one. A flash just very simple over the top, knows it's going to get one holding from short, rain bursts out, two nice entries, and honestly just a really great simple take to punish short control from the CTs, and there's honestly more where this came from. So when entering onto the site, not only is your aim very important, your crosshair placement, but the pathway you take is also probably one of the more important aspects to entering, it, it, it chooses uh, what positions you're exposing yourself to, where can the CTs peek you from, and these are all things to consider when entering onto a site, and these are all things that go through Rain's brain, obviously he's had a lot of practice, very experienced player, and these are things you would learn with time, but obviously there's some entry pathways that are better than others, so you can see in this scenario here, I just want to go through something first, notice Rain's change of pace, uh, instantly running up the stairs as there's some kind of trade going on towards the bathroom, I'm trying to punish anyone, trying to fall away, maybe a device was trying to AWP outside or something, trying to get that extra pick off, not the case in this scenario, but that's just something to note, is his change of pace, once his team gets that initial contact over towards the bathroom area. I'm going to fast forward this one because Rain can't decide if he wants to hold or throw a smoke. He's probably being told by Carrigan. Timing's not there quite yet. And this is where I want to talk about the pathway. And if you're coming from this outside area like Rain is, this is a very strong one. Flash over for your teammate, more of a supportive role. But notice all these players are interchangeable with each other. So when Rain jumps up here, I want you to notice what he's exposing himself to. Not a whole lot. He's exposed himself to bank, but that's where his crosshair is. Admittedly, he's getting ready to swing, so it's off to the left a little bit. Should have paused it a little bit earlier. But notice he's swinging onto bank right now. So that's, a, that's area one you can check from this position. Bank clean. You can see the truck is obscuring his view from dumpster even if it wasn't smoked off and device obviously can't see him because he's not exposing himself. You can see that right now on Rain's screen. The next space to check would obviously be to the left but the players are coming out long so there's not really uh, much chance of someone being tucked into that corner so he swings onto the next position which is truck. Truck is gone and right now you can see Glaive, no, well they know where Glaive is. He's got a couple of kills so he swings straight back in this direction and you see how methodical this is. He checks bank, truck, Behind the middle boxes, he could have also checked to his hard right. And you can just see how he really only exposes himself to one angle at a time. He exposes himself... Well, I could just run through the list again. But I think you guys get the idea. I'm very good at repeating myself. But yeah, exposing himself to one angle at a time. That's a very common pathway for entry fraggers to take entering onto the A side of an um, overpass. That's the map we're looking at. And yeah, one I definitely recommend you guys take pretty regularly, to be honest. Now, I've covered A long before. I'll link that in the top right here. But I want you to notice in this one, very little utility used, so Rain has to hard check everything. Obviously, we've already seen this round, but I want you to notice how no Molotov towards barrels or heaven smoke. So Rain dry peeks all the way out to the position where Flamey could be hiding from the T's coming out long, and then really locks down this heaven area for his teammates to move across the site. It doesn't take his eyes off that area until some pressure comes in from another part of the map. And we can really compare it to this round, or a little bit more utility use, used. A pistol round, so there's not a whole lot of utility, but there is some basic utility. Smoke towards heaven, Molotov towards the barrels area, and we can look where... Rain puts his crosshair, not much difference in his movement, but he still aims different spots. So notice right now, once he clears out that a potential double peak that can come in from there or double setup, he's just locking off the next spot where Zipex will move from. And I want you to notice his concentration right now, is while the rest of his team is coming out monster, we can see Nico still got a little while to go to peek into this water area or that ramp before. 
You see, he's going to lock this one down. He really wants to concentrate on this. He doesn't want Zipex getting up. He doesn't want Zipex applying any pressure. Zipex has smoked himself off. But you can notice the timing right now. So I'm going to need to focus right now. So he's going to concentrate. The flash comes over. He's concentrating on this water area. And right now, he's swinging to concentrate on the rotations and clear something out, out, something else out. And that's because Nico just got to that position. We're seeing Nico. He's just fallen down. He's, he's doing a little bit of lounging, but he's just been taken out by Zipex. We can see the timing from Rain. He changes his focus to the entrance onto the B site from the rotators once Nico gets in position to potentially fight with Zipex because he knows he's no longer the first point of contact. And this is something obviously uh, takes a lot of experience and it's, it's a little bit complex, but you can just see his, his change of adjustment. He does peak back once Zipex starts taking out players. Doesn't work out the best from this round, but again, you can just see a slight difference in where his crosshair is uh, depending on the round and depending on what utility is used. Now, Monster isn't very common from Rain. Obviously, it's not close to Connector. But if he does come out here, obviously, again, that ramp position we saw Zipex at last round is a bit of a priority. You can see that's where Rain's crosshair is trained. And then once they take out this player, notice his crosshair snaps to the entrance point, most likely for a player to potentially peek from. They work out the guy's heaven, so the spray comes in there. But just notice, again, snapping to that entrance point, the rotator could potentially come in, similar to the previous round. Just as a little side note here, Rain's often the Mac 10 guy, looking at how he gets the job done. He really wants to focus on clearing out other positions while Carrigan supports him. You see, very common for someone to be supporting the Mac 10 uh, with some nades, giving him the best chance of getting those kills and building up a bit of cash. You can see he's the one going to jump into connect again, these close range engagements with potential pistols. He's even going to spot Guardian and say, Guardian, it's clear here, mate. No chance of giving up an AWP. We're good to go. And you see, he's the one clearing everything out. As I said, setting the Mac 10 in first. This is just smart CS and something a lot of teams actually fail to do. That's really about it, guys. If you enjoyed this video on Rain, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll catch you all in a later one.